Hello and welcome to this session of test project. I am Raghav and you can find all my work on my website automationstepbystep.com. In this session we are going to learn about sharing and collaboration in test project and we will see how you can collaborate in teams and how you can invite your team members and then manage permissions. We will also see about local and remote agents in test project. We will learn about integrations, reporting and documentation and then we will see the rest APIs of test project. So let's get started and here I am on my test project. Now whenever you want to share your project or you want to invite your teammates to work on a project in test project, you can share your project or invite your teammates. There are these options. If you go to your project, you will find an option here. So here you can invite users and your team members to your project. We also have these three dots from where you can manage the users on this project. You can also go to your profile here and go to users and from here also you can manage users or we have this button here to invite teammate. So let me go here and invite a teammate and here I can provide email ID and I will click on next and here you can either make the person as an administrator or you can give access to specific projects. So all your projects will be listed here and let us say I will give access to this project that is first web project and I will click on finish and you can see it has sent an invitation. Now if you go to your users and here you will find your user so this is you and then you can find the invited users here. So if I go to the invited section you can see the invitation here and you also have the permissions you also have the option to manage the access rights and then you can see the status and the state if you click on this arrow you can resend the invite or cancel the invite now the team member will receive an email from where he can join the team so he can he can create a username and password and he can join the team so for example if i click on join the team here it will take me to test project the team member can add a username this is the email and can also set some password and then agree read the license agreement and agree and then sign up now if i go to my test project or the owner who has created the permissions and the user if i go to my home you can see i have got these two projects here However, if I go to the teammates dashboard, which is this, so the teammate has logged in and as it is the first time login, we are getting all this documentation on getting started with test project. For now, I will close this and here you can see we are getting only a single project and this is the project that was shared with this team member. So this is the dashboard of team member and this is my dashboard. Also, if I go again to the users, I will go to the users and now if I go, you can see we have the user added here because the invitation is accepted. So here we have the user, the state is registered and status is active. If I go to this and expand, you can deactivate or remove the user or you can make the admin and you will see a link for permissions. If I click on permissions, you can see the projects that this user can view or work with. I can either remove the projects like this, I can just drag and drop the projects or I can also give permissions to more projects. So here I have given permissions to mobile test project as well and I will click on save. And now when I go to the teammates dashboard, here I am getting this message, apply permission change. I will say OK. And now you can see it is refreshing. And now the mobile testing project is also available for the user. So as of now, I will just go and remove the mobile test project and only keep the first web project shared with the teammate. And here again, I will apply the permissions. And now you can see only a single project is shared. So this is how you can share your projects and you can work in teams. And whenever you want to share a particular project, you can directly go from this user icon or when you go to users from these three dots, it will show you for this particular project how many users are added or how many users can work on this project. So for first web project, I can see two users that is myself and the teammate that I have added. And then if I go to the mobile test project and go to users, here I am only having a single user that is myself. Now if I go to the agents, if I go to this agents tab 
and here it will show me all the agents which I have added and I have registered so as of now you can see four agents I have two windows agents or two agents running on windows machine then this agent is running on my mac machine and then we also have a virtual agent that is we have cloud agents or cloud integrations we have learnt about this in the last session where we integrated with browser stack and source labs so you can see all this here and if i go to any of the agent and expand you can see this is a public agent i have made this public from here and the other agents as well this is again i have made public from here and this agent as well is public and so now i go to the teammates account and go to the agents let us see if the agents are available here too so you can see all these agents are available here as well because i have made them public uh, let me just go to my mac agent and remove it or make it private and now if i go and refresh the agents you can see now my mac agent is no longer available for the teammate so you can make your agents public so that they can be available for others as well on your team now we have already learned about agents you can go to any system log into your account go to agents and you can download the agent install and register agent and that will be available and then you can make your agent public or private as per your requirements now when you make your agents public and the agents are available with your teammates as well they can also execute the tests on those agents and then you will also find options to download logs or delete the agent so all this you can do now let me go to any of my tests so i'm going to the first web project and here i have my test here so if i go to my test this is my test that i created here and this test should also be available to the teammates so if i go to the teammates dashboard and go to the project and here go to the folder demo test that i created and here i can see the test and i can also view all the steps and all the details you can also see the jobs here this is this is the job that i created now let us say i run this job and before running i will just edit the job from here i will click on edit and i will say next and I want to run it on let us say I want to run this on a different agent I want to select uh, this agent my windows agent and chrome browser I will say save and I will click on run so this will start execution so here it has started this is the windows system where I have this agent and it is running my test and once the test is done so I can go to the reports from here and here i can see the reports here are all the steps and this is the summary of my report and this will also be available to all the teammates so if i go to my user and go to the job and click on the reports so you can see the same report here as well so you can also see live reports and everything will be shared now if i go to integrations so here we have a integrations tab if I go here and if I go to cloud execution so here we have integration with source labs and browser stack so whenever you want to run on cloud or want to do cloud executions you can make use of source labs and browser stack account you can create a free account you can click on this gear icon and then you can create an account on source labs and browser stack and give your username and access key here and then you can run your tests on clouds using source labs or browser stack this we have already seen in the last session so i will also provide link to the video in the description of this video so you can check that if i go to webhooks plus slack in case you want to do slack integration with your team you can do that you can also add webhooks again we have seen that in a separate session if i go to api so here we have some rest apis that we can use so if i go to api documentation you can see here test project exposes a restful api which allows rnd teams to schedule and trigger automation so you can use these apis there are so many apis for agents like return accounts agents and returns agents devices then we have application related apis here 
so if you want to update an application delete an application all these kind of actions you can do from here data sources jobs if you want to create a new job all these options if you want to run a job delete a job update a job everything is available here then project related project parameter related everything is here you can click on any of the apis and you can get all the details you can see the parameters you can see what should be the response you should get the status codes and their descriptions and you can also click on try it out and here you can give the parameters for example here we need a project id so if you go to your project let me go to my home and if i go to this project and click on these three dots i will copy the id from here and i can provide the project id here and then i can click on execute so it will execute and i can check the results as well so here i have got 401 i can see the response and then troubleshoot it so you can get this you can also get a c url command from here you can see the request url all this you can get from here and then it will be very easy for integrations and you can also add to other processes wherever you want to integrate with your test project so going back to integrations we also have an option of SDK where you can download Java or C Sharp SDKs and then there will be support for JavaScript, Python and Groovy also in future and you can start creating plugins. I will show you this later in detail. Now if I go back to my project and if I go to the test case and if I click on these three dots here we have option to generate data source template generate code so if i go to generate code i can select the language as of now we have java and c sharp available and i can select the browser from here and then package name whatever i want and click on generate so this will generate and download the code and it will be a zip file you can unzip and you can see the code and also share with your team then we also have option for manual test and test documentation so if I create a test document, it will create and download a Excel file. And if I open this Excel file, here you can see we have got the documentation of our test. Here we have project details, the test details, the application details, the parameters and the steps. So you can again share it with your team and create a documentation. Again, if you go to manual test it will again generate a excel file and download and here you will see your steps and details so here you can see all these test details and the test steps again you can share it with your team so we have seen how you can collaborate with team how you can see the agents and share the agents integrations reporting documentation and apis i hope this session was very useful for you if you have any doubts or any messages you can write in the comment section below and i will meet you in the next episode of test project thank you for watching